And welcome back, this is Bob with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I'm joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Abel, Melvin, Bloon, and Sackman. When we last left off, I was still inside the Temple of Time, where I found Noah's harp and some very good treasure. Now, I have left, and I have equipped the Protect Ring onto Abel, because it's an attack up by 3, plus... What else does it say? It, doesn't it... No, it doesn't have any special abilities or anything like that on there. And as for the Blood Lance, it is better than the Heavy Lance. By 11 plus, it absorbs life. I also equip the Diamond Helm onto Sackman instead of the Dragon Helm. Now, we need to find Unai now that we have Noah's loot. Where is Unai? He is directly north of... Cape. Put the cape there. So, that looks like it right there. Let's go inside. And in here, we find Unai's shrine. Is it also the shrine of the silver monkey? It's a parrot. You don't talk? What kind of parrot are you? There we go. Wait, is that. Wait! Ah! Parrot spoken complete sentences. I am confused. Yes. I can use it to awake Unai. Let us awaken in him. Its timber, said to reach into the world of dream, begins to fill the room. It's a very powerful song that I just played right there. Apparently every bard knows it. Hmm? You did it! You did it! Luna is awake! Oh my, did I sleep well. Parrot, on my shoulder now! I ma'am! This is an old lady. Look, and the bird disappeared. Need to work out these sore limbs. Hiya! The hell was that? Guardian of the Dream World, at your service! Uh, the world of dream was a good place, but I guess I'd forgotten how exciting the real world could be. And as for you, Doa has told me about you in my dreams. We have to go get the Invincible, don't we? That ship will take you across the highest mountains. It's in the ancient ruins to the north, so what are we waiting for, Hey, Let's go! What? Wait a second. What is it, young man? Embarrassed to be seen walking around with an old crone like me? No, ma'am, not at all. Then stop staring and get moving. I see you looking at me for my body. Unai has joined the party. Awesome. Take this. What do we get? Something awesome. The Fang of Fire! Yes! We are looking for fangs for some reason. Where'd you get? You must not lose this fang, as well as the two fangs that you already hold. They are the only things that will enable you to get past the four statues that Sandy created to guard the entrance to his tower. There's one last fang, the Fang of Earth. To get it, though, you'll first need to find the Invincible. Come on, let's hurry. We have to ditch the Nautilus? But I like my Nautilus. Ah, oh, she can run. <laughs> of course she can run. Of course she can. So, back inside the Nautilus. But first, let's take a look. We do have all the the things, right? You know, we have a folding canoe, fang of water, fang of wind, fang of fire. Can I sort the key on it? No. And now I have to do that. I'll get to it some other time. First, let's get back into the Nautilus. Yeah, now I have to rearrange all my weapons again. I believe it is, once again, like directly north, just like you and I said. It's just a matter of remembering which, which little part to go in. I believe it's this one? No. That would be wrong, because I can't even go that way. Is it this way? There we go. I believe this is. Oh, you can't land in the dark grass. That is. There's swampland right there. Are these the ancient ruins? They are. 
We have found our next destination. Hold on while I do rearrange my items again. Okay, that's done. Because there are enemies here, and I will show them as soon as we come across one. We recently had a cave-in, and Anamantite is blocking the way further into the caves. Oh no! We devote our lives to studying the ruins left by the ancients. Of course you do. Anamantite wall crumbled during the earthquake, and we lost contact with the advance team that went deeper into the caves. Oh no, we'll rescue them! Wait, this? This blocked your way. Like, we can lift that. Let me handle this. Striking dream world stones against my material. Against any material from this world. Even adamantite. Should annihilate both objects. It's antimatter. <laughs> Stand back. Here we go. She's got antimatter on her. Oh, what the hell? That's not how antimatter works at all. I have no idea what you're talking about. Down go the rocks! That was taxing! I sometimes forget my age. Is it over a hundred? Come on, don't just stand there. The invincible awaits onwards! Of course, let us move on! That's to the left! Now we do find enemies. I bet there are new ones. Oh, return of the derpy dragon! We got Pyralis. Hopefully I can kick his ass. He's been deserving it! Go, Bloodlance! Oh, Earthquake. You're in for it now, derp! Still not a win enough for the win. Seriously. 5,800. How about... Yeah, down you go. Down you go, yeah, derpy dragon. For that battle, though, we get 1,760 health. 3,600 experience. Nice. We will keep moving. Uh, probably something over. Two doors! Whatever shall we do? Preemptive strike on. I don't know. Muck. Azrael! <laughs> they named it after an angel! What the hell? How is that Azrael? That's. That's not even close. Cave in? I've never even seen this one. What the hell's cave in? Damn, that does a lot of damage. It's a new elemental attack, it looks like. Still missing a thunder attack, though. Still missing a thunder. But for that battle, we get 1,280 gil and 510 experience. Yeah, the experience kind of dwindled away after a while there. Suddenly, we're not getting as much as we used to. Let's go through the door on the right. And in this door, we find... What do we find? There's the treasure chest. I was about to say, did I go into the wrong door? Move myself further along the dungeon? I don't want to do that. Here we find... Oh. We have seen eaters, but... We only saw one, so... I'll try to keep these in. See if uh, we can show them getting an attack off. Because they do actually have magic. Usually, these guys do. Events. Oh, and a critical. Damn. Down it goes. It never stood a chance. Go fire! Yeah, I know it never looks like Blooms gets that much damage in, but it is very important to have a white mage. Without the white mage, we could not do any of this. For that battle, though, we get 2,835 gil and 765 experience. And we get to access to this treasure chest, which is Reflect Mail, which we've had for some time now. We've been getting that ever since Odin. Uh, Odin. No, we're past Odin. We're moving on. We're going through this door. Not before this battle, though. Against these guys again. And through this door that they wouldn't let me through the first time, we get just a huge-ass room. With people! What's up, people? And sell them openly. Awesome. So old stuff is better than new stuff. Something really important is in these ruins. Yes, 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 there is. Has a giant flying ship as its central theme. I wonder what that could mean. Uh, I choose the left door first this time. Of yeah, you know, I'm feeling these are like shops and stuff. What's up, dude? Oh, you're. Oh, 
So I say you're important, but you're, you're the item shop. I do not require items at this point. I, I rarely use items. Like in any Final Fantasy game, I hardly ever use items. 200 gil! Not right now. You saw I have a ton of gil. That's mostly from from l l that level grinding I did in the uh, in Odin's dungeon thing there. I forgot what it was called. Uh, are you the armor guy? You look like an armor guy to me. No, you are... Huh. Okay. Well, I've got one of these. One of these. Uh, we're good. We're good with what we have. No need to spend all that money on something that I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll get an upgrade for a little bit later. You know, considering how many swords it begins with me. They're really trying to make me go for a warrior slash knight viking dark knight class. So, I, I'm pretty good with where I am. Holy crap, I thought I had so much money. I thought I had so much money. Okay, we're gonna need to get that. Definitely. Uh, he could wear that, but what he's got is already better. Uh, Diamond Mail, which they both have. Um, they already have those. And Sackman could use this. Okay. Hold on while I do equip all that stuff. Okay, I equipped all that stuff. He healed. I was going to say saved, but I did not save because you cannot save at ends in this game. So just equipped and healed, and it's time to move on since that's all there is in that little town sort of thing. So we need to go through here. I believe I'm going to go up. First, now oh, that looks complicated. I don't like complicated things. So let's go down first and over to the left, where we find. Uh, it's going to be a huge room. Damn it! This is where I came from. I swear I keep track of where I came from and where I'm going. I swear. I try. I do try. What do we have down here? More of these guys. So let's go. To the left here, through this door. Thankfully, it's not locked. <laughs> and up here we get a black belt gi, which would be awesome if I still had the monk. I mean, they're just giving me all this equipment for things I don't have. Derp. So let's head back outside, having killed the derp. And I don't believe there's anything... Oh, yeah, dead end over here. So back up here this time, let's go to the right. There's another door. I bet this leads to some more treasure. What do we have in here? We have the chakra band, which usually is just for the monk. Let's take a look. Yeah. Probably just, just the monk. Oh well, usually pretty good. Probably an upgrade, considering that we've been we've been getting almost nothing but upgrades since we started going this route. The last couple dungeons. Let's go on the right side first. See what's going on over here. There is another treasure chest, which is good. We got fairy claws. Fairies have claws. I guess, and some some of them some of them would have claws. So let's go over to the left. I bet there's going to be another treasure chest in here. If it leads to stairs, I've probably gone the wrong way. More treasure. Awesome. Here we get a rune bell, which I do think I still need to equip on. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of that earthen bell. This attack is up to 196. Just ridiculously high for a caster. I don't understand that. Do you want me to answer? has a high defense, high attack, high everything. Let's keep going. By the way, I just did attack, regular attack with Novin because I got back attack, so he was in the front line. He did over 6,000 damage on the critical attack. Damn, maybe I should be doing physical attacks with my Geomancer. Never thought that was gonna happen. Let's go down these stairs. Hopefully they lead us somewhere good. Across another bridge, across another couple bridges, and down these stairs. We've had a couple rooms with nothing in them. I don't like the sounds of that. I don't like the sounds of that at all. It usually means that we are near the end, which usually means a boss fight. 
And let's go down these stairs where hopefully there isn't a boss. Hopefully. Yeah, just a long winding path. The, the fights here are not tough enough for them to, to be enough to scare me off. But really it's just a long walk down to the bottom. It looks like we have finally reached it. But what is up here? I, is the invincible here? That's what you've been talking about this whole time. We've made it to the ladder! And yes, we made it on board. This must be the invincible. Now listen up! The stairs over there are the way out to the surface. When you want to board the ship again, stand in its shadow and press the A button. You can also use the A button to put the engine into overdrive and hi fly over high mountains. It's about damn time. Press the B button to stop the ship and take a break. You can steer the ship by standing at the helm. Did you take that all in? I think so. Good, now follow me! Put gill in these thingies here, and you can buy items, weapons, and even armor. Also, summon fat chocobo in the corner further aft. Where are you? Come on out, you chubby chicken! Fat chocobo appears! No music, though. You can rest up in the beds over there, too. So basically, we've got a flying town. Doga is calling me. I have to go. You're going already? Yes, I trust you to do the rest yourselves. Remember, go to the Cave of Shadows, north of Amor, to recover the Fang of Earth. Come to Doga's Manor once you get it. Doga and I must give you something before you can continue on your journey. Good luck with the Fang of Earth. I'll see you in Doga's Manor. Ta-ta. And then she disappeared. And left the party. No. She only came in once and casted haste on everybody. It's kind of weird. So yeah, basically we have ourselves a flying fortress here. And let's see, you can get a dark knife, rune axe, which I should definitely get, and a dragon lance, which I should get two of. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I might do that off screen and equip them. And then over here, we can get... Oh, jeez. Upgrades for everything. But we already have all that. And then uh, this is the item shop. Yes. Which has the normal stuff. And then is this magic? It is with the level 7 spells. Awesome. Might, might get a sooner and reflect and... Grab some of this stuff for, for Novin if he ever switches back. He might not, to be honest with you, because it's just so awesome. We got a fat chocobo, we've got we've got an inn here, we've got everything we could possibly need. We've even got a Moogle! What's up, Moogle? How you doing? I've missed you. Send mail to Oh, we've already sent mail to everybody. That's too bad. Then I don't get to talk to the Moogles anymore. But it looks like that is going to do it for these parts. This part. Just this one part. Of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I have been Baller Scuba. I've enjoyed as always by my trusty squad of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sackman. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.